The boxing world is buzzing once again. Teofimo Lopez has officially called out Gervonta Davis for a showdown at 140 pounds, making it the next mega fight of the century. I don't know, am I ready? Why do you want that fight with Tank, uh, Tio? I mean, it's obvious, it's a great fight, well, it's, why? Yeah, see, um, well, I don't like people saying that I'm ducking somebody. You know, why do you beat him? Why? Yeah. Why do I beat him? Because I'm Teofimo the Tank over. Teofimo Lopez wants a high-stakes clash with Gervonta Davis for 140 pounds, calling it the biggest fight of his career, and this has created buzz among boxing fans as two of the sport's most dangerous fighters could be on a collision course for a thrilling battle. Lopez made his intentions clear and stated, I want Gervonta Davis at 140. It's time to display you know who's really the best. Let's see if he's really about it. I've been fighting the best, and it's time to show who the real king is, who's the real fighter. The call-out has already sparked reactions from fans and boxing analysts, many believe this fight could be one of the biggest showdowns in the division, with both fighters having the power and talent to deliver an action-packed battle. Teofimo's confidence and willingness to take on Gervonta in a higher weight class show his desire to solidify his legacy. Furthermore, Lopez has already backed Canelo. His prediction on Canelo versus Edgar Berlanga fight was gone in favor of Canelo already. That's it. The takeover Teofimo Lopez has finally done it. He's calling out Gervonta Davis. He said he wants to scrap. In November, he said if Tank needs an opponent, I'll be a Huckleberry. So that is the latest from Teofimo. He looks kind of big. He was supporting Canelo. Meanwhile, Gervonta Davis, known for his powerful knockouts, has yet to officially respond, but boxing commentators and fans have begun speculating about the matchup. Renowned boxing analyst Max Kellerman has added fuel to the fire, weighing in on the potential Teofimo Lopez versus Gervonta Davis showdown. Max commented, This is the fight the fans want to see. Both Lopez and Davis are at the top of their game, and at 140, this would be a battle of speed, power, and skill. This challenge adds more heat to the 140 pound division as Lopez and Davis both have huge fan bases and are known for their exciting styles. Fans will be eagerly waiting to see if Gervonta Davis accepts the challenge and if this fight becomes a reality. Mentioned, uh, Gervonta, if I said, Gervonta, give me yep. a fight. Yeah. Is, is that the fight you want the most? What do you want to say? He ain't fine. I ain't fine. What's up? Say again? He's not fine. I ain't fine. What's up? November, He's got a November, November date and a December okay. date. Could you make that date? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, am I? I don't know, am I ready? Why do you want that fight with Tank, uh, T.O.? I mean, it's obvious. It's a great fight, well, why? Yeah, see. Um, well, I don't like people saying that I'm dunking somebody. You know, why do you beat him? Why? Yeah. Why do I beat him? Because I'm T.O. Fimo, the Tank over. After winning world championship belt, Teofimo Lopez has mentioned he wants to fight with Tank, and that is the biggest and most important challenge of his career. The potential bout would pit two explosive fighters against each other, with Lopez eager to test his skills against Davis, whose knockout power has made him one of boxing's most feared opponents. Meanwhile, promoter Eddie Hearn thinks it's a pointless callout by Teofimo, who came across as desperate and needy today because Tank Davis isn't going to fight him. He's got bigger fish to fry against more popular fighters, who are still on top of their game. The New Yorker Teofimo looks washed up since his fight against Vasily Lomachenko in 2020, and he's been a shell of himself ever since. That fight took something out of Teofimo, leaving the fighter who lost to George Combosos Jr. and deserved two other defeats against Jermaine Ortiz and Sandor Martin. However, Teofimo looked drained, making 140 for his last two fights against Steve Claggett and Jermaine Ortiz, and it's clear that his days at light welterweight are numbered. Teo fought poorly in both fights and hasn't looked like the same fighter he was once since moving up to 140. Top Rank has to be thinking about an exit strategy with Teofimo, because it won't be long long before he's beaten. With both fighters eager to cement their place in boxing history, this bout could be career-defining for both men. Sean Porter, former world champion and now boxing commentator, sees the potential in this fight and asserts, both guys have something to prove. Teofimo wants to show he can be dominant at 140, and Tank has been knocking people out at 135, but can he do it at 140? This is a fight that could elevate both their legacies. Devin has about like five, six flaws. Tank has about like three, four. Ryan has about 10. It's too many for him. Every time he punches, he puts his chin up. Bro, I could, I'm could. i gonna dissect all these boys when the time comes. Timing beats everything. Timing beats speed, power, ring IQ. I have more tricks up my sleeve than y'all know. Gervonta wasn't the only fighter Teofimo called out. 
Teofimo Lopez also called out Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, and Tank Davis and said he would knock out all these three guys when the time comes. The challenge was laid down by Lopez and now the boxing community is rallying behind the idea. However, Hall of Famer Bernard Hopkins has already dubbed this clash a career-defining moment for both fighters and with professionals from every corner of the sport weighing in, the excitement is palpable. Bernard Hopkins also shared his excitement. This is the type of fight that brings out the best in both fighters. Lopez and Davis are two of the most exciting guys in boxing right now. If they get in the ring together, it's going to be fireworks. It's the fight fans want, and it could be a career-defining moment for both. Teofimo didn't mention WBO welterweight champion Brian Norman Jr., who was willing to defend against him. Teo had expressed interest in fighting Norman earlier, but he's gone quiet about wanting that match. Tank Davis doesn't have an opponent yet for what is expected to be his next fight on December 14th, so Teofimo decided to throw his hat in the ring. Jose Rayo Valenzuela is mentioned as a strong possibility for Tank Davis's next fight. Later, he also said that he wanted Tank and Teofimo Lopez in the same division. It would be a clear message to Saudi Arabian advisor Turkey Alal Sheikh to organize the fight. Rayo further called that Tank the greatest fighter in boxing. Right now, I think, uh, right now I think Tank or uh, Teofimo, you know, they both have so much momentum and the knockout power, you know? That's why I think I fit in there with these guys because I'm, you know, like you saw, I'm just I'm a, I'm a strong fighter. Speaking of Tank, what do you think about Tank moving up to 40 to face Mario Barrios? I think that's a great move because I think he will beat Barrios. Bar, um, Barrios is a good fighter, but Tank is, uh, you know, he has the qualities that that can he can adapt and you know he's strong enough to be at 140 and I think unlike Teofimo who is beginning to look washed Ryo is fighting on a high level recently defeating WBA light welterweight champion Isaac Pitbull Cruz and Chris Colbert Teofimo is focused on fighting the guys in his own weight class at 140 because many of them would be interested in facing him if he stood willing to fight them the narrative began with Ukrainian professional boxer Vasily Lomachenko a title unification fight between Loma and Tank could have been a certain blockbuster, but citing personal reasons, the IBF lightweight champion decided not to proceed with the negotiations further, although initially both Tank and Lomachenko agreed. Lomachenko has also called the fight with Tank as easy to do. Hey Dave, this is called Dad over social media. Mate, your response to that? One more time, please. <laughs> Tank Davis. Tank Davis called? Called out Loma on social media. Oh, he called Loma on social media? Well, that's easy to do, right? <laughs> Social media, I can call off, call out uh, Mike Tyson. The question would be asking a pregnant woman who just gave a, a birth, would you like to have another child? Yeah, right. Out of the blue, Gervonta Davis call out from Teofimo Lopez. For sure, it must have caused a few eyebrows. Boxing, right? Yeah. Because we ain't talking about somebody that just got a good jab or what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about like all around. They can do everything. Yeah, boxing. Yeah. Me and Tank, the, yeah, the biggest that's fight. The, that's the one. It's the biggest fight in the world. Yeah. Like, it's going to be the biggest boxing fight in the world when it happens. Y'all, what you think? Like 147, 140? Nah, hell no. Nah. 135? 135? 35, 40, I don't know. I could see it happening. Uh, not too f not too far in the future. Really? Yeah. I think Tanker signed that contract. Dang. And I'm going to sign a contract too, so it's like... you going to get it on. Yeah. Then Shacker Stevenson appeared in sight. Tank versus Stevenson can also become a talk on the table. However, as the clouds cleared, it became apparent that the WC champion would focus on another title defense. Thus, the race to find an adversary for Tank faced one challenge after the other. A few other matchup combinations made their cameo appearance. Sadly, none bore fruit. Now the plot witnesses a new development.
Meanwhile, Lopez joined Canelo Alvarez and the team at the final weigh-in of the fight against Edgar Berlanga. Fans were pleasantly surprised to see Teofimo Lopez join the super middleweight champion at the training camp. Footage of the two sparring lightly in the ring grabbed considerable traction. A few reporters got a chance to speak with the light welterweight champion. The Q&A started predictably on Canelo Alvarez, the learnings Lopez picked at the training camp. It's easy to assume the next round of queries would be on his next outing. When he was asked, the Gervonta fight you mentioned the Gervonta fight said Gervonta give me a fight. Is that the fight you want the most? What do you want to say? Teofimo Lopez replied that neither he nor Tank Davis currently have any match in hand. Hence it makes sense if they joined for a dance in the ring. Lopez explained that the primary reason behind the call out is that he does not want people to spread rumors that he is avoiding the Baltimorean. Then exuding supreme confidence in his abilities, the light welterweight champion replied, I beat him because I'm Teofimo the takeover. I don't know whether Davis received the head up on this fresh call out. Nevertheless, could Teofimo Lopez be the viable option his team has been looking forward to for such a long time? I, I think that's a big, like, if there's any comeback fight I would have in, in April, uh, that, that, that interests me a lot. You and T.O.? I mean, don't you think that's a fire fight? Because you need you need somebody who's going to be able to promote the fight and with you. And you need somebody that poses some type of a threat. He's got the accolades. Got right? the accolades. He's what, two-time lineal, two lineal 140 champion? 140 champion. I feel like he would fight me at 145. See, I'm the catchweight king. I don't believe in weight classes. <laughs> Make the best fights happen. Meanwhile, on the other side of the boxing world, Ryan Garcia has also called out Teofimo Lopez while claiming to leak Gervonta Davis's next fight rival. Garcia is currently suspended from the sport for a year after failing multiple drug tests in the aftermath of his incredible win over Devin Haney, which was later overturned. He is already attempting to make moves for his planned return in April 2025 and has issued a call out to current WBO super lightweight world champion Lopez. He wrote on Twitter, Ryan Garcia versus Teofimo Lopez. For my return in April, let's make it happen, Teo. Davis has yet to secure his next fight, but has been in talks with the likes of Vasyl Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. Also, Ryan Garcia's versus Teofimo Lopez fight can be expected in 2025. Ryan Garcia has turned up the heat by calling out Teofimo Lopez. Ryan Garcia further stated, Teofimo's been talking a lot, but I'm ready to shut him up in the ring. He knows I've got the speed, power, and the will to take him down. Let's make it happen. I see. The fans want this fight, and so do I. Trainer Robert Garcia weighed in on the rumors surrounding a potential clash between Gervonta Davis and Jose Valenzuela, expressing skepticism. He stated, I'm not sure where these rumors are coming from. A fight with Valenzuela doesn't make sense for Tank right now, especially since he's focused on his career at lightweight. A switch in weight classes would have to happen for any meeting to be agreed. For a fight with Valenzuela to happen, a significant shift in weight class would be required, making the matchup unlikely in the immediate future. A November 23rd or December 14th return is being plotted for Davis, according to reports. Whereas trainer Garcia has swiftly denied claims Valenzuela could return before the end of the year. Promoter Leonard Ellerbe discussed Davis's next move, insisting there were still multiple options on the table. Ellerbe stated, Tank will be back before the end of the year. We're looking at a couple of guys right now, but he'll be back before the end of the year. As it relates to the Shakur Stevenson fight, Tank wants him. Tank wants him, but it's all about the timing of everything. Meanwhile, Valenzuela is hoping for his own return to action, with several options already being assessed for 2025. A showdown with Lopez could take place at 140 Lebees, with a win for Garcia likely to see him become world champion for the first time. Garcia has also himself talked up a sequel with Davis, given Tank handed him his only career defeat in 2023. The event did huge numbers, and any renewed rivalry would likely again draw huge huge interest. Recently, former president of Showtime Boxing Steven Espinoza explained the trouble over Tank Davis's next fight. He warned, I think the options for a top tier fight for him are relatively limited, and you know as other fighters have either not been able to make deals or have taken other fights, then you know things start to get more and more narrow. Notwithstanding Teofimo Lopez's call out, rumors began spreading following trainer Ricky Funes's revelation that Gervonta Davis could be back for a November fight, most probably against one of Robert Garcia's 
Garcia's charges. Thus, the debate sparked off with fans switching over between Jose Valenzuela and Raymond Murataya. Eddie Hearn has shared his excitement over the potential clash between Teofimo Lopez and Gervonta Davis at 140 pounds. He believes this fight would be a huge event for the sport, highlighting both fighters' explosive styles and the thrilling matchup that would undoubtedly have fans on the edge of their seats. Hearn stated, if Teofimo and Gervonta step into the ring at a wonder 40, it's a massive fight for the sport. Both are explosive and it's the kind of matchup that brings fans to their feet. We want to make the fight happen. Tank Davis, have your people call my people, or my people will call your people. It should be on Showtime and The Zone because they're the uh, broadcasting partners for Boxing legend Oscar De La Hoya also wants the fight fans have been waiting for. He has weighed in on the potential blockbuster fight between Teofimo Lopez and Gervonta Davis. According to De La Hoya, this matchup could be a game changer for the sport, with both fighters at the peak of their careers and ready to go head to head in an explosive showdown. Furthermore, Oscar De La Hoya said a Lopez versus Davis fight, ah, would be huge for boxing. Gervonta's a star and Teofimo isn't backing down. It's the kind of fight that that fans want to see two top guys going at it. He highlights that this matchup pits two of the most elite and dynamic fighters against each other, which is exactly the kind of high stakes battle fans crave. Sean Gibbons, the head of MP Promotions, declared the chance of a rematch between Tank and Isaac Cruz. As per him, since the fans in Mexico and the US showed a massive interest in Cruz versus Davis, it was ideal that the fight took place. I just actually seen his pops in the thing. Uh, and I just, yeah. and, and, and uh, I was in the lounge. You got I the said, fight done right now? You just got it done? Got it. <laughs> Listen, no, he, I, they, like, I always ride them because they are what they are, you know, at the end of the day. But, you know, he, he throws out people's names. You like, don't know what he's doing. They wanted 20 million to fight Haney, right? Wasn't that out there? Something like that? Promoter Leonard Ellerba has thrown a punch towards Teofimo Lopez and called him an incapable fighter. He further suggested that Lopez should fight Devin Haney for $20 million. Leonard Ellerba further added, Teofimo is an incapable fighter. He's all talk, but when it comes to facing the top guys, can he really deliver? I don't see him being ready for the likes of Gervonta Davis. Ellerba's fiery remarks have added fuel to the tension between Lopez and the lightweight division's top names, leaving fans fans wondering if Lopez will take up the challenge or continue to push for a fight with Gervonta Davis. On being asked what they thought about Teofimo Lopez versus Gervonta Davis at 140 for the title, David McWater, manager of Lopez, claimed it was a wonderful idea. At this, Kenny Ellis, yet another coach of Davis, added, We've got unfinished business at 135, then we go to 140. However, Ford interrupted and stated, No, it's not unfinished. We finished at 135. Along these lines, he announced that he liked the fight, Lopez versus Davis. Following the statement by Ford, McWater announced that since Lopez only wants the biggest fights, it is likely that Teofimo will fight Tank one day. McWater said, yeah, it will happen someday because Teofimo only wants the biggest and it seems so does Tank. However, in this context, it is worth mentioning that Lopez, who reportedly trained for Tank, felt Tank would never fight him. After Teofimo Lopez, following his victory over Josh Taylor, announced his short-lived retirement, Max Kellerman wondered if there was a figure that could reignite Lopez's spirit. At this, Kellerman also suggested the name of Davis. While Lopez thought Tank a good fight, he called the latter scared. Tank Davis? Yeah, but he's too scared. Newly crowned WBO Junior Welterweight Champion Teofimo, also known as the Takeover, Lopez claims that he's hung up the gloves, but that hasn't stopped those in the boxing community from contemplating his future and pondering about fights with contemporaries such as reigning WBA regular lightweight champion Gervonta Davis. Lopez was in attendance for the second leg of the Errol Spence Jr. Terence Crawford press tour in New York City. When Lopez was asked by the boxing press if he would come out of retirement for a fight with Davis, Lopez said the following, Let's say I sign a contract with Tank and we face each other. They'll find a way to postpone the fight and keep postponing the fighting, having me wait my time. Davis has a history of forcing his opponents to agree to a rehydration clause. It was part of the contract negotiations for his stoppage win over Ryan Garcia in April 2023. Former WBA regular junior welterweight champion Mario Barrios claimed that he had to agree to a similar clause prior to fighting Davis in June 2021. When Lopez was asked about Davis's pre-fight demands, the takeover said that's a sign of weakness on the part of Tank. That's a pussy move. Gervonta, you are a bitch.
bitch. I don't care what anybody says. You can be all that rah-rah thug life and scream with your lips. Get out of here. Boxing fans have opined about a matchup between Lopez and Davis for several years on boxing message boards. The two men have a history, going back to when both were amateurs. While they've talked about fighting one another at some point as professionals, for one reason or another, it has not happened. Gervonta Davis is one of the biggest stars in the sport of boxing. Fighters who step through the ropes with him risk a defeat in brutal fashion, but guarantee themselves a big payday. Tank has been slated to fight in either November and December of this year to build on the Martin knockout, whilst he was targeting a rematch with Isaac Cruz after the Mexican became the only one if two men to take him the distance back. In 2021, those plans were scuppered when Cruz lost his super lightweight world title to Jose Valenzuela last month. Valenzuela's trainer Robert Garcia has said, his charge won't be fighting again this year, though some in the sport still claim El Rayo will be the man to fill the opposite corner. As for Lopez, he has most recently discussed a move up to welterweight or super welterweight, calling out pound for pound star Terence Crawford. Tank would be the second time he has fought in the super lightweight ranks, the first being a win over Mario Barrios. It would also tick a matchup off the list of this current era's top dogs himself, Lopez, Shakur Stevenson, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, and so on. At the stage is set, and Teofimo Lopez has officially called out Gervonta Davis for a showdown at 140 pounds a fight that could define both of their careers. With the boxing world buzzing and fans eager to see these two explosive fighters clash, the big question now is, will Gervonta Davis step up to the challenge? Can Lopez prove his dominance in the super lightweight division, or will Davis bring his knockout power to a higher weight class? Let us know your opinions in the comments.